Hey guys, this is Nick at Bluegrass Pharmacy along with the owner, Gary Russell. Uh, welcome to Behind the Pill Counter. We're here again and what we're going to be discussing today is a pretty hot topic. It seems to get a lot of uh, airtime on TV and uh, a lot of discussion about it. We're going to be talking about bioidentical hormones. So you'd agree that's a pretty big thing right now that uh, a lot of people talk about. So let's just start off with an easy question. What are bioidentical hormones? Well, bioidentical hormones, Nick, are hormones that are chemically the same as what your body produces. And when you talk about bioidentical hormones, you're mainly talking about replacement uh, for menopausal women. Yeah, so that kind of leads us to our next question. What are they used for? Well, you want to help relieve the symptoms of, of menopause uh, is one of the main reasons we use mm -hmm. them. Uh, you know, some of the symptoms might be hot flashes, night sweats, irritability, vaginal dryness, that type, those type of symptoms. Okay, so, you know, there's a lot of manufactured products on the market. Um, used for some of the same things. What are the advantages of using compounded bioidentical hormones compared to just something that you can buy or with a prescription uh, that's manufactured? Well, your main manufactured product, I guess we're talking about, is Primarin. And it's produced from uh, horse urine, really. So, I mean, yeah. uh, when you compare that to, to using something that your body, your body uh, naturally produced mm -hmm. before menopause, then I think that, that that's a lot more beneficial. Uh, all, the, the potency of the manufactured product is a lot more than what uh, we see with bioidentical hormones. So you can lower the dose of those down to just enough to, to, to get relief from your symptoms. Yeah. You know, another thing just to kind of add to that is, you know, with your manufactured products, they're, they're kind of one size fits all. Right. And one of the benefits to using the, the bioidentical hormones, the compounded, is that they can be specifically dosed for you and for the symptoms that you're having. Exactly. Which I think is a benefit to, to why we do those, why we compound bioidentical hormones and um, what they're used for. Sure. Yeah. So as far as going through the process of obtaining bioidentical hormones, could you kind of just walk us through that of what that looks like? Well, you know, they're all on prescription. So you'd have to be uh, make an appointment with your doctor, of course, and discuss going on bioidentical hormones with, with him or her. And they would evaluate your symptoms and that type of thing. If they thought you were a good candidate for hormone replacement, then, of course, they'd have to write you a prescription. First thing they would do would probably be to send you to the lab. They can do a saliva swab and that type of thing to get an idea of where you are with your, your hormone levels, progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone levels. Once they uh, get those back, they usually send them to us actually, and we do an extensive uh, survey of your symptoms that you're experiencing, and then we get back with your physician to come up with a, a good dose to, to start you off on. And from there on out, it's, you, know, you, you adjust the dose based on your symptoms. Yeah. So there is a lot of, uh, it goes into it as far as evaluation, see if what the dose that you're on is working for you and if things need to be changed. So, uh, you know, this, like I said, this has been a hot topic for some time now. Um, I hope today has kind of given you a little bit more insight into what bioidentical hormones are, the process of obtaining them. And, you know, that's something that we uh, do at the pharmacy, um, something we do on a pretty regular basis, daily basis we're doing this. So. Um, you know, if you ever have any questions, give us a call. We'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if you guys have any topics that you'd like for us to discuss, please send them our way. We'd love, if you have questions about certain things, we would love to talk about those. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode of Behind the Pill Counter. We'll see you next time.